Greetings, all my fellow monsters and ghouls out there. This is the Terrors of Halloween. All right, like what I said in my YouTube short video that I just posted on, on my Terrors of Halloween channel the other day that I said I was going to show you guys some of the props and some of the groundbreakers, some of the tombstones that I have set up for Dr. Neville Stone's Graveyard House of Terror. So yeah, so so um so that's what what we're gonna be doing today. And likewise said, um everything is not set up yet. Uh, well, I still gotta work on still gotta work on I'm um, getting the haunt all set up, get some some more props, some more groundbreakers, and put some more gravestones out for the front yard and and, and also the backyard as well. So yes, all right. So we are about to enter Dr. Neville Stone's graveyard house of terror. We are about to enter those gates. Are you brave enough? If you guys are, then follow me. <laughs> All right, welcome to Dr. Neville Stone's Graveyard House of Terror. So yes, I, I also get I also got the front entrance all set up. Got this creepy black fabric that I said I was set up and also the plastic chain like what I said in my other video that I said I was going to I, I was going to have like black fabric over here and also some plastic chains as you guys can see right there and also I have a I have a creepy skeleton hand that's coming out right there as you guys can see so yeah you know I thought it would have been cool to put that there for the front entrance gate so as you guys enter um the haunt and then you'll You'll see this creepy skeleton hand that's going to grab at you victims that is trespassing Dr. Neville Stone's graveyard. So there he is, the creepy skeleton hand that, that basically um, grabs at the victims that are about to trespass Dr. Neville Stone's graveyard. All right, so we're about to enter the haunt. So here we go. But... Um, um, but no scare actors yet, so, <laughs> but we will get scare actors ready for the haunt as well, and all some, and of course some of the other characters as well, so you, so all you guys will definitely get to meet some of the characters of my haunt. Alright, so we, we, we got over here, got some scattered bones right over here, and, and I'm also going to put a gravestone right here again for this year. I also had one in this spot last year, so I'm planning on putting... Um, one over here in this spot again. I guess also also got some of the bones scattered right there. So like it's one of Dr. Neville Stone's victims, and he just leaves all of their bones scattered behind in his graveyard. So yeah, there's all of the bones of his victims right there. All right, as we continue our way, we're gonna go down to here. Got some more bones right over there. All right, as you guys can see, more of. Dr. Neville Stone's his victims leave leaving all his um leaving all his bones behind in his graveyard. And when we got over here, we got a uh keep out sign right here. Oh yes, I also had one I I also had this in, in this exact spot last year, and I'm planning on putting it in this spot again. So yeah, you know, why not? I, I think I think it's still a good spot to have it in. So the keep out sign, as you guys can see right there. Has, has all the blood splatter all over it, like the bats and the spiders. So keep out. It, it keeps all the trespassers away from Dr. Neville Stone's graveyard. Also, also got, got got a human skull right there, right right next to the sign. And also, of course, this is where the werewolf beast will be hiding. Of course, when the guests enter, right over there. Of course, of course all the, and the guests will go down here, and then that's where you'll meet the werewolf beast. So there, there, there's some of those stuff over there. Also got some cemetery gates that I have set up in the backyard right over here. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah, I, I thought it would have been pretty cool to um, set some uh, cemetery gates up right over here. Oh, there's some, there's another bone part right there. And also I made a little trail, a little bone trail that will lead right over there, kind of where uh, Bill the Scarecrow Demon will be. So yeah. So yeah, you know, I, I thought it would have been cool to um to do that to make a little to make a little bone trail right over there, and then that would lead uh, right over there where where Bill the Scarecrow Demon will be hiding at. Well, not not over there. When you go that way, and that's where you guys will see Bill the Scarecrow Demon right over there. And also we got over here got the hanging 
a ghostly reaper right here. So, so yeah, um, he was in the front yard last year, and I decided to put him in the in the backyard this year. So yeah, so so yeah, I, I thought I thought it would have been cool to have him in that spot. So, yeah. So here's Doctor Neville Stones' ghostly reaper that floats around in his graveyard. So basically, he opens a gateway to the netherworld called the Forsaken of Lost Souls. So he, he summons all these ghostly phantoms that come from the netherworld. And also, um, the Book of Monsters also summons some other things. So also, um, when you read from the Book of Monsters, you basically open a gateway to the realm of monsters and creatures and you and, and, and you read from it and it basically, it summons them and, and it opens the portal and then you basically let all the monsters and creatures in. And that's kind of what Dr. Neville Stone did. He read from the Book of Monsters and he summoned all of the monsters and creatures from their world and to his world. So yeah, and this one comes from the netherworld called the Forsaken of Lost Souls. All right, and, and and we got this skeleton hand coming out right there. So yeah, I, I thought it would have been a pretty cool idea to have this creepy skeleton hand that that is like coming out to grab you as you has has these guests will enter Doctor Neville Stone's graveyard house of terror, and then you and then the guests will see that, or oh, well, uh, well it, it'll probably be dark. It'll probably be hard to see um, that that skeleton hand, or on. Um, or maybe if you guys do encounter it, and then if you look at it, and then, yeah, it, it makes it look like a skeleton hand is about to come out and grab you as, as you enter Dr. Neville Stone's graveyard. So, yeah. So, so yeah, I thought it would have been a pretty cool idea to put that there. To, to, um, that way it can set the whole creepy effect. All right, we have over here is our inflatable tree. So, yes, I'm going to be using an inflatable tree this year. I mean, uh, I normally don't use inflatables that much anymore but i was like hey you know what why not let's use a different and inflatable tree well this one i didn't use last year for the haunt it was a different inflatable tree so i'm gonna use this one for this year so yeah you know so so um so this inflatable tree will kind of like you know remind the guests don't don't go that way you know like you know stay on the path like right here kind of like how i did with the skeleton bones right here like i kind of made a trail that will go right over there and this and this monster looking tree will actually remind them not to go that way and that way um they'll stay on the path so yeah here is the creepy monster tree got a creepy looking pumpkin right next to him and a ghostly evil spirit hiding behind the tree and waiting for fresh souls so yeah there is my creepy inflatable tree all right, next up we got my zombie groundbreaker right here. This undead looking zombie that like he's going to come out from like well like he's about to come out from the grave right here. So yeah, I'm planning on putting a tombstone right here and like I can have some more gravestones ar around this area right over here. So yeah, I I'm planning on putting a a gravestone behind him. And yes, and I will guys I will give you guys a update video about that so I can show you um, um, the gravestone that's gonna go behind this um, undead looking zombie groundbreaker right here. Also, he's got a rose right next to him and one of the other bones that belong to Dr. Neville Stone's victims right there. There's a skeleton hand that's coming out from the ground right there. So yeah, here, here's some of that stuff that I got right here. So as the guests will enter the haunt and then they'll see the, um, they'll see the undead zombie coming out from the ground and the skeleton hand. So, so yeah, here they all are. All right, we got some more skeleton bones right here. We got a skeleton foot and a spinal cord right next to the skeleton foot. And yes, I'm, and I'm also planning on putting a gravestone right there in that area. Yeah, and also we got a creepy looking spider coming out right there. Got some got some bones that I that I put that, um, that I put in there. So yeah, you know, I, I thought it would I thought it would look pretty cool um, um, to put that in there. And also right over here, I got a zombie hand that's coming out. So yeah, so th th this was kind of my idea to put that there. That way it can it set the whole creepy effect to make it look like the zombie hand is about to grab you. And that way he can feast on human brains. So you better watch out when you're walking through that area. This zombie will eat your human brains. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that, 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 was, that was my Dr. Neville Stone voice. Oh yeah, I know, I thought it would've been cool to do for the video. So yeah, here's the creepy zombie hand that will feast on your brains when you walk by this area. All right, as we're getting close to Bill, the Scarecrow Demon's area, and what, we got some more scattered bones that I put right over here, and right over here, we, uh, I actually put this zombie hand right here to make it look like it's coming out from um, from behind this part right here. Oh, so yeah, I kind of put that there, so so yeah, so yeah, you know that that way it can cover um cover um, most of this part up right here. Of course, last year uh, when I used this for my haunt, like. Um, it was connected right there, and of course it broke after um, the the last haunt season. So yeah, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna use it for like you know like to cover up this this area right here. And yeah, you know I thought it would have been cool to put this um, creepy looking zombie hand. Also the same one that's from over here. Yeah, so same one, but I put this one in a different spot to make it look like the zombie is coming up from the grave. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh, funny! I found this spider. He, um, he fell down right here. I kind of had, I kind of forgot I had this in this spot. So yeah, here's my little spider um, that was supposed to be in that spot, but he fell down kind of right there. So yeah, <laughs> there he is. There's my, there's my other spider. All right, we're getting close. We're about to enter Bill the Scarecrow Demon's area. Oh no! Better watch out because he's hungry for human souls. And yes, right over here we got this. No enter watch out sign, so I'm gonna use that. Ag I'm gonna use that again for this year for Dr. Neville Stone's Graveyard House of Terror. So I'm gonna use that. So yeah, so you know that sign gives you a warning that you're about to enter Bill the Scarecrow Demon's area. So so that so that, that will kind of give you a warning. No enter watch out. So that is a warning that Bill the Scarecrow Demon is nearby. And right over here, of course, that's where he's going to be hiding. And I also set up some boards, kind of right over here, I could, to make a pathway that will go up there. And and, and we got this guy right here, my, my my little undead skull. I mean, my my undead skeleton zombie right there. And so yeah, you know, so as you're walking by the haunt, I mean, I mean, I mean in this area, so he'll like you know. He'll like kind of grab at you when you're when you're about to enter this area. So you better watch out. He's hungry for brains, so you better watch out when you enter this area, because this skeleton-looking zombie is hungry for fresh meat. So here he is. All right, has has you has you guests come come through that area right over there, and then then you then you guys encounter the undead zombie skeleton. Then you go up here and got some more stuff out. But yeah, like I said, everything is not finished yet. I still gotta get some stuff out and some more gravestones and I will so yeah and of course you know I'll I'll give you guys an update video about that and yes so these were the cemetery gates that I was talking about when I went to Spirit Halloween the other day so I got some of those right there so there's those cemetery gates and yeah kind of right, right over here we got graveyard ghouls a uh, graveyard ghouls head is also a spirit halloween animatronic from 2019 we, that's the year when we got him but he he, he kind of quit working so i kind of i kind of wanted to use him has, has a has a groundbreaker so yeah so uh, I'm, I'm, oh my goodness i'm gonna say he looks pretty creepy so he would make a really good addition for my haunt and also he oh yeah also he was in he was in the backyard area so i decided to put him in the front yard area this year and of course i got that gravestone right there that i got for my birthday right there that yeah that thing looks really cool i love love the design on this gravestone love how the reaper is holding that scythe right there and, he, and he's wearing his hood where you can't kind of see his face well if you kind of go down a little bit as you guys can see you can kind of see his face underneath that hood and and of course that gravestone is basically graveyard ghouls is tombstone right there so there he is graveyard ghoul all right, what we got over here, got some more bones that I put right over here in, in the yard right over here, and also some more. Got, got, got another skeleton bone part right here, and this one right here. So, so yeah, I, I, I decided to put them right over there. And also, here's that um, vampire girl that I put out right there. So also, it's supposed to go on your back, but I kind of made it into a crawling prop to make it look like um, that what well, that she's gonna crawl towards you and feast on your blood and and also I'm playing on I'm, I'm playing on uh 
putting a strobe light on her to make to make it look more creepy. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do that for this year so that way a strobe light will kind of just just flash on her to make it to make it look creepy. Also got that crawling zombie that I had last year. Put him in the same spot this year. Got got a skeleton hand that's coming out of the ground right there. And there's that there's the grim reaper tombstone holding the rose right over there that I have. So yeah, so here's that crawling zombie that I'm, I'm, that I'm gonna use again for this year for my haunt. And then there's, yeah, so I set up another another tombstone right there and, and also a rose right next to it. So yeah, here's all that stuff I have right over here. Oh yes, definitely cannot wait to use these for Dr. Neville Stone's Graveyard House of Terror for this year. All right, also I, I, I do have some hanging stuff that I have right here. Got this hanging reaper right there. And also here is the ghostly phantom that also comes from the same realm called the, the Forsaken of Lost Souls in the Netherworld. So yeah, so so yeah, oh, yeah. also I, I used him last year as a hanging prop and, and he's gonna go right here for this year. So here is the ghostly phantom that comes from the Netherworld of the Forsaken of Lost Souls. Oh yeah, also I got, I got another Got some more bones right over there. Oh yeah, I also did forget to show you that I have some bones right here, kind of like where where this tree got chopped down, kind of over the summer. So yeah, I I forgot I forgot to show that over there. Oh yeah, still got the hanging guy. So he's so I saw so I'm some I'm gonna use him again for this year. So yep, he still works. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh yeah, and also here's my other hanging ghostly ghoul that I have right there. So yeah, here's some of my hanging stuff that I have right here. All right. Oh yes. Yeah, so also, when you, I mean, when the guests enter right over here, right, right, right where you're about to meet John the caretaker, and then, then, you, and then these guests will go by these two skulls that are in between right here. So they'll go up here. They'll meet John the caretaker and also here is that rotting corpse. There he is. So that is what John the caretaker will show you. And then basically you'll get your your Halloween candy after he shows you the the rotting corpse that is in that coffin. Oh yeah, also I put some like changing portraits right here. This guy transforms into a vampire right there. And there's the other one that transforms into a reaper. So yeah, I, I thought it would have been pretty cool to use that for the haunt this year. And also... Um, my dad has John the caretaker. He's gonna use that shovel. So, so yeah, you know, so that way he could kind of like scare the guests, like how they're how, as they're coming through this area. Then he'll kind of go like, kind of do that. You know, that that way they'll, they'll it'll startle the guests. So yeah, so that will be John the caretaker shovel that I have right here. So yeah, here's everything that I have for the haunt. So yeah, um, I was trying to get this one in the ground, but I really couldn't. So. It was kind of hard to um, get that in the ground, but I'll figure it out. So I still got to get some of these gravestones all set up and this skeleton head that I have right here. And this, well, this spider kind of broke. But yeah, here's some of that stuff that I have right here. And John the Caretaker's little casket with the rotting corpse. All right, well, has the guests entered the haunt and then... You know, just you know, just wish them happy Halloween, just just to tell them thank you for coming by Dr. Neville Stone's graveyard house of terror. So yeah, I thought that would have been cool to put that there again for this year. So yeah, I know that that way it can, it can thank everybody for coming by to wish them happy Halloween. And of course, it's got all the cool designs on it with a zombie hand coming out and the blood splatters on it, and with the creepy skull that's coming out right there with his creepy eyes. All right, so that is gonna do it for today. And yes, stay tuned for um, um for a for a update video to give you guys some updates for Dr. Neville Stone's Graveyard House of Terror. So I still gotta get some things set up. Still gotta get some more props out and some more gravestones that I have in the basement. But I am definitely working on that. So stay tuned for a different video that'll be coming up pretty soon. Whoo! I survived. I. I thought I was going to be a rotting corpse <laughs> for a moment. Oh, it, it is so hot out there. I'm ready for I'm ready for summer to end. It's time for fall. It's time for the fall leaves to fall down. It, it's it's time. 
No more summer. Summer has been a pain in my butt. Like, yes, it's it really has. Like, summer is crazy this year. Like, I tell you what. <laughs> yeah. But yes, so so stay tuned for, for, for an update video for Dr. Neville Stone's Graveyard House of Terror that we're opening up for Halloween night. If you guys live in Missouri, make sure to come on by Dr. Neville Stone's Graveyard House of Terror. And to meet me has the, the main character, Dr. Neville Stone, and also some of the other characters, the werewolf beast, Bill the Scarecrow Demon, and... Oh yeah, and Count Malice, Vampirus, John the Caretaker, and all of the other characters, and also those new characters that I'm creating, the Reaper of Souls and the Living Dead Corpse. So those are those two characters that I made. So yeah, yep. Yeah, so, so yeah, some, some some two new characters, and yes. Yeah,